And go now. Go. Run, Michael! What she said. The 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After Tell All is really leaning into the no limits thing. Because I am genuinely starting to fear for Michael's safety after watching Sunday's episode. And Angela's not the only one starting stuff in the house. You don't have sloppy sex. What? Sloppy? So let's get into part two of the 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After No Limits Tell All. I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Now it comes as no surprise that Angela and Michael aren't getting along this episode. She's been freaking out on him since like their first scene together ever. Angela is still upset about Michael's cheating scandal. She thinks he's scamming her. We all know the deal. But she does seem to be escalating things. There is a problem here! Like her running up the stairs to physically go at him, that makes me more than a little uncomfortable. Who wants to get done? Becca! 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 Run! You got the run, run Becca! Get, get run. Your Don't throw Michael! Get your and go now. Go. But not as uncomfortable as Michael was sleeping on this couch after Angela kicked him out. I mean, come on, there's not a throw blanket in this whole mansion. Now, during the actual tell all part of a tell all, Angela said that she and Michael haven't been intimate since he came to the US, and she accused him of talking to another woman. You Before. cheated and told that they... bitch you would come to goddamn America and get the visa and you'll handle me. But despite all of Angela being convinced Michael is scamming her for a visa, he's like, I'll go back to Nigeria. Stat. Why didn't you stay your ass where you were? Then send me back home. Okay, moving on to a slightly less toxic couple, we've got Jasmine and Gino, whose life in the bedroom I know more about than I could ever want to know. Actually, Gino is a jealous person because he has told me, even if I please myself, that I'm not allowed to have toys. Jasmine referred to herself as a single person who is married and said that the gap between her and Gino is only getting bigger because she won't be in a sexless marriage. But Gino again emphasizes that he doesn't exactly want to be intimate with someone who is freaking out on him all the time. Angela could maybe learn something from that statement. Speaking of not learning though, Big Ed is continuing to push the taco pasta Liz rage out scenario on all of us after he kind of got his backside handed to him by Liz's new boyfriend Jason last episode. In this episode. You're such a pussy. You're such a Pussy. Oh, yeah, you're military? Yeah, and you're oh, yeah. pussy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. But I gotta say, even Ed's sister he calls in for backup isn't really being very backup ish. She's, she's she died asking. She was acting the way she's acting tonight. And but she's not acting any sort of way tonight. She's actually quite pleasant exactly. tonight. God, this whole interaction was so weird. We have sloppy sex. What? Sloppy? <laughs> you watch porn that is stepbrother, stepsister. <laughs> I'm quite chilling, honestly. Hey guys. Oh my God! Finally, on the lowest end of the toxic spectrum, we have Emily and Kobe, who revealed during the tell-all that they did move out of her parents' house before having their third kid. Although they said it's been hard to pay the bills since moving out. I mean, going from zero bills to owning a house? Yeah, that's gonna get you. Now, these two are trying to hang on to the drama that is Kobe talking to his ex-girlfriend while he was in China and just meeting Emily, revealing that Kobe had been sending her money until he found out that Emily was pregnant. But she got pregnant, like, right away, right? I mean, I don't think that brief overlap really means anything. When we met, I just thought it was like a one-night stand. Oh, better. Or am I just blinded into thinking that Kobe's a good guy because everyone else is so horrible? I don't know. Let me know in the comments of what you think, where you fall in part two of the tell-all, and then head over to popculture.com for the latest entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call.